Okay, you can buy a custom domain also. So right now, there's four pages here. So the things you can add are a standard page, a blog page, category, product, external page, and a non-clickable menu. We'll go a little bit deeper into each one and what you can do with it. Uh, let's start off with the standard page, you know, just like it sounds like. This is how a normal home page or web page or anything you want to do that's not really a blog page is going to look like. So the way they have it set up is your first page is the home page. What also you can do is create a landing page as your home page and hide it in navigation. So let's say you want to test out a particular home page, but you don't want it to be displaying there. You just want him to land on that page, and then when they click home, it actually takes you back to another home page. Kind of sounds confusing, but this will be useful down the road if you're planning on doing A-B testing. Okay, so we have a new page established. You can put anything here. And if you click off to the background, you'll be able to edit the background. So obviously basic color changes. The second thing is what they call a gradient, which I think is <clears throat> probably one of the more unique features about Weebly right now. I think this looks very clean especially with the new iOS update that's came out so um, it's gonna create that look for, for your gradient colors you can add a scrolling effect all right so jumped a little bit but once you click here this is your publish or pretty much your your save button also in a sense okay so <clears throat> the next thing we're going to want to do is add a button so what you can do with these buttons this is add links here you can have instagram facebook and so on you know or whatever else you want to put here You can also do call, and if you attach a phone number here, go under link, type in phone. Now this will turn into a click to call button. So in essence, 
now that button is responsive and it'll interact with the mobile device it'll be able to call and you can do the same thing with email and you can upload files to the button too also so and you have the option of opening a new window or keeping on the same one there is a different way to uh, there is a way to change the look which is the button style so yeah that's kind of the first tutorial really these basic buttons making a basic page this is just a really really basic um, diving into web design so yeah